between these big boys and they are big. First four fighters, let's look at the belt lines. Here's good, please punch above that. Here's good, please punch above that. Both fighters protect yourselves at all times. Listen to my instructions when I call break, stop throwing, step away from each other before you start again. Best of luck, shake hands. Back in your corner. Now we're about to get underway. Judges for this bout, Greg Burgess, Paul Fitzsimmons and Andrew Bell. Supervisor is Pat Leonard for the WBO. And once again, your referee and third man in centre ring, John the Rebel Conway. Monty, how are you going on the edge of that seat, mate? Oh, absolutely, like everyone else in the house. Early exchanges of speed, very apparent. We're here, Mike. Well, here we go. Far circling away from the right hand. He's up against the ropes, though. Got to be cautious of the right hand of Parker. It's his best weapon. Oh. Already, the boys uh, came together. I think there might have been a thumb or something in the eyes. Mutual respect from the pair of them. Parker jabbing high, jabbing low. Junior Far with that long jab, using that reach advantage. Parker just finding his way in. Far using that mobility that served him well as an amateur. And again, tying him up on the inside. He's a wonderful mover, Junior. There's no doubt about it. Oh, he's always been at his way. best when he's moved his feet. Absolutely, and he's going to need to be at his best to move that feet tonight. Joe's the bigger puncher when he's able to set his feet and punch nice and hard. He ties them in well together, but by doing so, sometimes he's a little bit one dimensional. Little right hand caught Parker coming in. Both of them hitting and holding. Well, they've got to work pretty quickly. Both of them chopping off the break again. Well, they were all smiles. They got no problem throwing bombs over the top. Parker looking for that overhand right as he dips. Junior looks so relaxed, even on the clinches after the exchanges. Just gets in there, holds, smothers. Very relaxed look on his face. Promising signs for the young man. Well, he took care of the right hand again, just jamming it. Parker going downstairs. His uh, trademark shot. He likes to get that angle right. off the ropes. Right. Forearm in front of the face. John the Rebel Conway been busy already. That's uh, changing up the jab into the left hook right hand is Parker's money punch. Far just drifting a little bit into the right. Needs to be cautious. So slapping hook with the right hand lead. Just shifting. Parker just walked into a forearm there. And again, he is wrapping it up on the inside. Elbows out, please. And don't hold Junior. Junior not expending any more energy than he needs to. Quite well, content to hold them up. Well, that's a it's legitimate Mike, work Rick. there. Parker will try and rough it up because he will want to get his hands free. Far, of course, when he gets inside, will look to nullify the fast hands of Parker, who wants to get going with his fast-handed volleys. Oh, there's a right hand there. Set Parker on his heels. It was a left hook, rather. For those who are predicting a blowout, it's more of a chess match. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Man is a gamer. Must be that nationwide 5G she got from Cricket. Oh, now I got no mercy. I'm scared. <laughs> more phone, more fun. Nice and a beautiful pull. He missed with the two, but to tell you what, he wobbled him momentarily with the one. Now that the two being short came with the one on the inside. There was absolutely not a miss. It was a fake with the two, actually. It's a fake with the two, something they do practice in the gym. I've seen them do it. And uh, turning over the left hand. So a little bit of unorthodoxy. Yeah, absolutely. Just can't get over the composure of Junior Fah and how relaxed he looks. This is the biggest fight he's been in. 
oh. underneath the lights when the crowd that is you know very much mainly in the favor of joe parker loving it oh he's keeping that lead hand long jabbing high jabbing low and he's keeping the range jabbing also going backwards it's not always about jabbing going forward and you can see it quite clearly there parker digging down to the body with the lead hand looking to set up the right hand And also working as a barrier for Junior Fart. Fart employing the, uh, what looks like very much the, the Klitschko tactic. Tie them up on the inside. Catching him with the jab there. Parker returning, double jab to the chest. Just getting a little closer, Joe Parker. Also, you can clearly see the hunger on the inside. He's working. He's looking for the opportunity. Once he gets inside that massive range, he went, oh, beautiful right body shot. He's, and answering back in kind, anything you can do, I can do better. Nice little change up there from Parker for Vic and Dillian White style. Usually throws the left hook. Came with a lovely little uppercut. Still struggling to find his range, though. Far moving well off the ropes. Now Joseph Parker finding his range. He's uh, jabbing down to the body a lot more. Chopping right hand from Junior Far using the forearm. What I love about Junior is that lead hand's always moving, always working, regardless of whether he's jabbing or not. Creates some illusion with his hands in the eye line, shoots the body with a low two. Parker's looking to, there's a right hand from Junior himself in response. Parker's looking to set up the overhand right with that two to the body. Both of these boys trying to construct a knockout, trying to construct an opening. So far looks like a boxing match, although Parker's managing to catch him in the corner. Parker caught Far coming out of that corner there. The call came from Far's corner to change the angle and he was a little bit slow on that. Bit of inside work there from Junior. Both men adapting the inside strategies, locking one arm. The other one work as he comes off on the triple jab. See Parker very quickly correcting, moving away from that right hand. Rather far was doing that. Joe Parker really starting to find a home for that straight right hand to the body. Sets it up off the jab. Junior Far chopping downstairs with the right hand. They've different types of punches too, Monty. One of them very heavy and a thudding punch in Junior Far. Whereas uh, Parker... At AutoZone, you get what you need when you need it. Got a today job? Pick it up free same day at your local AutoZone. More of a tomorrow project? Order as late as 10 p.m. with free next day delivery. Getting the job done just got easier. Joe was able to go downstairs in the midsection, chase them up as well. Been around for Joseph Parker. Yeah, he just started to get a track, get a bead on Junior Far, just started to cut him off and it worked him well. Sent him the way he wanted to a little more. Joseph sitting down, Junior Far deciding to stand. you've seen this four times. I know you're confident. Keep that confidence. Eugene Berryman, keep that confidence, remain confident. This is a fight that's developing, it's a chess match as we're going on. Round three. Part starting off with that lead hand of his, just giving him different looks. Good work from Far. Notice how he turned the left hand over to take care of the, the right hand as he moved in that direction. One thing that Kevin Barry said in between rounds was you're doing great work to the body. Keep it up. Keep it up. It'll pay dividends. Yeah, absolutely. We saw the big timber and Julius Long earlier. It was the body shots that eventually wore him down. That's what you need to do, especially if he's on his heels, on the wheels, moving well like this. Both the boys doing a very good job with their jabs to the body. They're using that to find his place with the right hand. Parker just missing with the left hook off the jab there. 
And again, just fell short with that right hand. Now you can see he's wanting to try and walk him onto it. Overreaching, just with that right hand. Exchange of jabs there. Parker the quicker of the two. And then again, that little change up that he did so, does so well. There's the Sunday combination that he throws so well. The agility of Junior Farr to evade punches, to turn off, to move, to sight for such a big man. Uh, looks pretty relaxed in there still. Parker, probably a little bit more intent. Has a greater sense of urgency right now. Parker showing up and then going downstairs. He, he's starting to just find a rhythm and varying his shots more. There's a big shot from Parker over the top. Looking for it again. Junior Farr holding on and trying Hi. out. Hi. John the Rebel Conway coming in and separating them. Definitely saw him wobble at the knees there. Well, he's felt it now. He's felt the power. You mentioned Eugene Broom is there to stay confident. It's a bit hard to stay confident when you feel the power. And Junior Farr coming back, landing a glancing right hand. When he lands that jab, it's hard for Parker to get inside the range. Parker's using his variation with his lead hand and his ability to cut him off just to create traps and walk him onto the right hand more often than not. Junior doing a wonderful job. Tying Parker up. Bigger man. 15 seconds to go in the third round of 12. Joseph Parker though, had a good round. There's the left hook coming upstairs off the right hand. But fighting back on the inside. That was a change up from Parker using his left hook. Well, the end of round three, almost certainly a Joseph Par Parker round. He's able to get a bit more joy, pushing that gap. Both men exchanged jabs simultaneously a number of times throughout that. You mentioned they're very, that's the right hand, that's the right hook coming over, it wobbled him straight away. Junior Farr reaching out, trying to find the comfort and tying up Joseph Parker. Did a good job on that, there it is, right through the guard. He felt that one. Barker, Junior Farrar is using an old trick quite often. You see him coming over with that, that left hand and nullifies the right hand when it's around the body. Very composed corners, as you would expect. World class corners, world class advice and instructions. Well, they're calling for Junior Farr to be a little more patient. There's that right hand to the body again from Junior Farr. So far, very competitive bout between these two. More competitive than many had picked. Little change up of the jab there from Junior Farr. Both of these boys are uh, showing good variation in their lead hands, Monty. Oh, absolutely. You, know, you normally see this in the opening two rounds, not in the fourth round, but it's that contest with so much on the line. And obviously, the speed of both fighters with their jab, it's all about the variation, the light and shade, the tempo change on that lead hand. Hey, hey. Not, not the head, not the head. Back up, back up. Go on. Parker, he's showing some urgency on the inside. I think he can sense that he can hurt far. Hey, and he's up, not up. allowing him to tie him up. up. Yep. Bart probably just needs to get a little bit more respect now. Land something clean. Here's that right hand to the body. It's very accurate. It's a chopping shot from far when he throws it. Parker countering. Walks it back well. Leans right. over him. Call from fast corner. Let him go. Let him go. I'm trying to walk him on to something. Parker though, he's a, found a good groove now. He's bridging the gap better. He's starting to track Junior Far down a little more. You see Parker there, just giving him a little lace. 
Hello, Junior. How's your father? There's that fake, fake with the right hand and one again. Yeah. And it's uh, something that's worked well that twice, two times he's tried it. Parker's just, he's a little heavy on that lead ha lead leg of his when he leans in. He's available there for a pull if Junior Park has the agility to do it, to pull back and counter him. Well, we know that Junior has got a little pressure on himself. The pressure's all on Joseph Parker, so he needs to come out with an emphatic win. The more he can't get the win, and the more the rounds go on, is the more when the frustration gets embedded into him. Oh, Parker. Still having the better of this round. I'd say it's three rounds to one. With ten seconds to go in the round. Hey! Come on! Back up, back up! Stop at the bell! Ten seconds! Five seconds to go in the round. Break! Break! Ah. Hey! Good work from referee John the Rebel Conway. Parker was about to load up that left hook. So far after four rounds, Monty, how do you have it? Oh, uh, you look. Junior started well, probably an even round that first round feeling out sort of prayer, but I think uh, in the last few rounds especially, Joseph Park has been finding a little bit more of a home. He's found his range. Well, there's the odd occasion too, that, as you mentioned, the joy he's having with the, uh, the fake two and the one. So they've both had their moments. Let's have a listen to the corners. Lots of solid jab, stay in the eyes, blow yourself under the over. It's very good instructions. One of the key things here, apart from the under and over, come up with the left hook off the right hand of the body was keep your feet under you. Because there were times at that round where Joe got impatient and he just allowed his, his, his balance to go a little. So body work from part from Parker and patience and more variation with that lead hand from far. Nice changing levels beautifully. Coming downstairs. Can move the head, can't move that body. Look for the overhand right shortly. Yeah. Parker looking when he drops down with the jab to the body off and come with the overhand. Far's just uh, he started to drift more right hand side still needs to be aware to keep over there's the left hook when he is drifting to his right of course into parker's left hand he needs to keep that right glove up Parker spearing the body with the jab once again. Here's a right hand just glanced off the ear of Parker. It'll punch off the break from Junior Far to remind Parker he's there. This is fifth round of 12 Oriental WBO title. WBO number five and Junior Far. Number three, Joseph Parker, former WBO champion. Hello, Junior. Moving well. It's Joseph that likes to sit. Just missing with that hook. Little chopping right hand there from Junior Far. Worked it well. This is where often Parker has tended to get frustrated previously. You can see he's trying to work away to the body there. This is a round where Junior Farr's come back into play a little more. He's been able to stifle Parker more in this round. Little lift hook from Parker. Something he will have to use. With the way Farr is shifting to his right often. The call from 
far as corner, mind you, touch him, just touch him, just keep touching him, just offset him. You can see both of the guys are starting to bite as well. They're biting on the feints, they're starting to shift, they're starting to move, they're getting reactions out of one another. It's starting to become a very intriguing round. That one a lot closer, Monty. Yeah, it has been. Once again, a bit of joy with the, uh, the fake two inside one. It's going to come down to that too. When you're thinking about the mindsets in and around it, we think about the camps that they've had, David Nika and Joseph Parker's camp, and also a number of a whole host of fighters over there with CKB. Well, we're about to head into the halfway mark of this main event sponsored by Stonewood Homes right here at Spark Arena in Auckland. Well, it has been a superb promotion so far tonight. Memory, of course, this fight brought to you by Duco. Matchroom Boxing and Debella Entertainment. Global audience, over 180 countries. And there's the right hand early from Junior Far. Put Joseph Parker. I noticed uh, Kevin Barry said, don't relax in the clinch. Don't get caught coming out of that break to, uh, to Joe Parker, telling him not to get complacent. Mm, it wasn't a heavy right hand that landed, but it was more of an offbeat. Got in there, came straight through the guard, something we haven't seen. We've been seeing the other variation of the, the short two and the one. There's Turns another. around nicely. Just, that was a, a, just, just a variation, it was a short chopping right hand as he drifts. Now, that has got Parker's respect a little more. Parker going downstairs to the body again. Good work, ripping away. There's that Break. forearm up upstairs. Good work to the body from Parker. This is round number six of 12. Heavyweight action here in Spark Arena in Auckland. Brought to you by Stonewood Homes. And of course, going out live on Spark Sport. There's Parker building nicely now. Off those jabs. Can you be finding home for that? Well, I think that's going to be the overhand right. A couple of little love taps on the inside. What Farr is doing is he, he's very fundamental with what he's doing, but when he does it, it's very effective. There's the right hand from Farr. Good Farr thought he hurt Joe. He jumped on him. He said that throughout the week. If he gets him in a situation stop, stop, after boxing stop. and if he hurts him, he won't hesitate. We saw that there. Gotta love professional boxers, eh? Stop, stop. You've always got to make sure you get a little bit of weight on the back of the neck. Busy man tonight. The Rebel John Conway doing a good job getting in between these two heavyweights. Junior Far in the black and gold. Joseph Parker in the silver and the black. There's another right hand from Far. Much better round for him. Joseph Parker just got a little quiet and he got caught coming in with the jab as well. Left hook. First one we've seen from Junior Far. You can just see the weight of his forearms. Change that left hook up into a little up jab. Bit of confidence coming out of Junior Far, and this is the sixth round. Sixth round so far. A lot of joy. Joy in various positions as well. Levels, it was just here, cut above Junior's left eye as Joseph goes to work on his midsection. He pulls back with the right hand. Got to get that eye seen to. Uh, Joseph Park really went to work there. A little net over the eye of Junior Far. Not sure about the T-shirt. Relax, relax. relax. Well, six rounds in the bag. I've got to say, that one I thought went to Junior Far. I thought he landed the cleaner shots, apart from the flurry right at the end from Parker. This round of the night for Junior Far. I'll take a lot of confidence out of that one. Of course, though, it's the mentality he has now with the cut above his eye. Well, you saw him raise his arms, you know, in acknowledgement, I'm still here. And again, we said this bout would be decided 
in the first three rounds, setting the tone. Junior Barr has made his intentions clear. He wants to box on the outside, touch him and keep it long. Barker is now heading into what they call deep water, the second half. But he has been here before. And of course we all remember that knockdown against Dillian White in the 12th round. So he knows how to run it deep. Bart using that lead hand, touching Parker. Parker doubling up and going downstairs. Slapping left hook from Parker, answered and crying from Bart. Just the work there Frank, from Frank, Frank. Parker's getting frustrated. He's fighting to get his hands free. Junior Park, very well drilled on what he's doing whenever Parker gets in the inside. Yeah, he's moving nicely. It's hard to actually get to him once the time comes. You set your feet, you try and get in, and if you're, you're, you're lunging like Joe is on occasion and you Frank, can't quite get there, you're Frank. looking for that second phase. But he's being stifled by the big frame of Junior Far. Well... Far doing a really good job. There's a right hand. He was just pulling away from right. it, so it took a bit of the sting out of it. Just a reminder to Junior Far, you cannot discount Parker. And he just returned it. Looked like he was going to whisper sweet nothings in his ear for a moment. Well, we're starting to get into the trenches, Monty. Start looking at the... Uh, Right. The demeanour of the man within, what he's got in his eyes, the body language, the jaw, if it's open, all these telltale signs of energy draining from their tanks, the levels that you need to be in the championship rounds. Joe's getting a little frustrated there, he wants to get his hands free. Just a shout out to Junior, he is the father of an autistic child and he has autism written on the back of his shorts. There's a left hook that uh, Barr has to be cautious he doesn't walk into. Right, right, and uh, Junior went public this week about uh, people needing to have a better understanding of the neurological disorder that is autism, particularly in children. Back to the fight, 30 seconds to go. This is round number seven. Parker's just looking a little bit ragged. Right. He's just stepping in and throwing. He's not constructing the way he did in rounds three and four, Monty. Looking a lot more laboured in the speed of his punching. Lenny, we mentioned that right. Kevin said you've got to keep your feet underneath you. By doing that, you aren't reaching. You are taking that extra bit of footwork or steps. We saw that over in the right. First one of the night, really. Still didn't quite connect. The shoulder roll helped him. There's a, that's the second time right. we've seen right. Barr use that. Little forearm frame, step away with the right hand. Oh! The overhand right though was the heavier shot. Came down on the back of the ear and the neck of Junior Far. Seemed to take it okay though. Yeah, it's not a little bit of a shake of a head from Junior Far. I mean from uh, Joseph Parker when that round finished. Maybe a bit of a self frustration with how the, the bout is going. Let's have a listen into the corner. Seat. This is a heavyweight bout. One punch can change it at any time. Kevin Barry telling him he's got to work his way in off the jab, particularly from the outside. Well, he's hit deep waters. That comes down to experience too. Joseph's been here under the lights, fatigued. Second round of round half of these fights. Then it's all counted in clutch situations and pulled through. Little check hook from far there. Just uh, again, just changing the look of what he's doing with the lead hand. Step right. back in on the half beat. Right, Barry's also noted that uh, Parker is landing the left hook now. Bart just continued to hold on for a little bit long there. Right. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. 
That was strong with bad intentions. Grazing. Missing, I should say, narrowly as he comes back with his own right hand left up. Right, Walks right. him to the right, Mike. Right. Well, far, he just pulled off the jab of Parker there. Okay, the pair of them are just probably going to get a talk to him too now. Both of them getting a little testy. Parker's looking for the pull, you can see it. Left hook landing from far. Break, break. When Parker has urgency on the inside, he doesn't allow far to tie him up. He's, he's got to be careful not just to surrender to being tied up because uh, that's completely at odds with what is going to work for him. He doesn't want to have a guy who's 10 kilos heavier than him just clamping down on him. It really stifles break. him. Stop, stop, stop. Come on, guys. Don't get sloppy. Let's go. Round eight of 12. Off the deck. Yeah. Big right hand there Punch. from Joseph Parker. Punch. Oh, punching oh. off the break. Yeah. Took it well, though. There's a the left hook that landed. Kevin Barry pulled it between rounds. Break. Park, guys. Park. Right back. Back up, right back. Wow. It's getting heated in there. Far is, uh, he's, he's actually timing the jab of Parker. He managed to get on the outside of that more frequently than not. Stop! Right! Call from Kim and Barry straight back. He feels that he's tiring. Junior Far has got to get there beautifully. It came around that corner. Yeah, he's just turning the corner. He's framing. He knows where the... Knows where Parker is. Let's just go, those little go, chopping shots that just let's go. every time they're going to annoy Joseph Parker. It's annoying, it's frustrating. Parker's just looking a little arm weary now. Working away to the body, chopping away there. Bar stepping back on the right hand. Better round for Joseph Parker. Still well contested by both fighters. This is going to be very interesting if it goes to the cards. Oh, nice pull right hand counter. Once again, he goes back into the clinch. Smothers Joseph Parker. That's Evan right. The roll. It's very the clash of his there just on the chin. That's an area as you mentioned. He's got to be careful when he's in there. Can't give him that split second because that's when he can do what he's been doing very well and that's just smother him up. Right hand right on the button there. Well, the whiskers of Junior Farr have been tested on a couple of occasions. We know that Joseph Parker has a decent chip. And uh, what we are seeing is two very good game plans coming together. But now we're heading into round number nine, the championship rounds. A little uppercut from Farr for the first time. Tape coming off the glove of Junior Far. Interesting to see how long the referee lets that last. Parker fainting with his jab. He does his best work when he starts to use his jab to set up. He can see Far. He's trying to walk him onto that right hand. Looks to me like he's trying to time it when Joe faints the jab and then goes to the body. It looks like Bars just trying to time the right hand over the top of that. And that's going to be the dangerous punch if Joe does lunge. We've seen it on the occasion. Like any good fighter, looks straight to his corner when there's a break on. Kevin Barry oh, shouting out the instructions. Break on in the clinch, you name it, any opportunity. And Joe's been doing that all night. Nice, crisp right hand to the body. Break! That's a back there from Junior Farr. Now the thing with Parker there, he landed that, but then he paused in the pocket. And there you see again, just Farr, pushing him around, just break! tying him up break, with his break, arm. Break, break. And not allowing that Parker right hand to find a home. The 
continual call, call from the far corner. Keep touching him. Just offset him. Don't allow him to set his feet. Don't give him the space to come inside for free. Good use of the dark hearts by back both up, boys. Back up, back up. Nice little right hand there from Junior Far. Changes the angle nicely. Break. Rips to the solar plex. Yeah, just takes the wind out of the sails. Bit of a Frust surprise punch. Frustrating for Parker. He's trying to get his hands free. Yeah, he's looking for second phase, third phase, but he just can't, right? Junior's doing a fantastic job. He, he's just doing a lot of blocking with the forearms. He's controlling the bicep. And that's uh, not allowing Parker to, to keep free. And you see there, as soon as he misses with that left hand, Parker's got his head down, so he'll just stay there. A little bit of claret coming from the eye of Junior Fart. Doesn't look too bad at this point. These rounds are going to be very hard to score as well. Particularly with Junior Far landing, jabbing, and then grabbing. Parker has to do the work on the inside. Otherwise, Far ends up coming away with the points. He's just getting a beat on that punch every time he brings it in. Just enough to evade, just enough to cover up. Swinging wildly with the right hand, Parker. Now oh, the crowd is starting to cover up. Looks like there's a lot more blood coming from that eye now. Maybe he got touched again. We will have a look in the corner. There you go. It's over and right. Shoulder was in there as well. But something hit the eye. If you saw the blood flow from it once again. Junior's the eyes on the man. Oh, there you go. Just the elbow corner at the very end then. The punch itself glazed off the Del Toy. Came through, but his elbow, unfortunately, with that follow through motion, just snip it. Great work from the camera and capturing that one. What I saw there, though, was I saw Junior Farr's eyes. Here it is here. Yeah, just clipped him There's on the, the elbow there. right yeah. there. Great work from the camera once again. But I saw Junior Farr's eyes. He was catching shots on the gloves. He had his eyes wide open. He, he really looks like he's got a bead on a lot of what Joseph Parker's doing. Especially that right hand, the overhand right that Joe loves and he favours. He's not been able to get it on. Round 10 of 12, very much championship rounds, Oriental WBO title. He lands the right hand, Joseph Parker forced the cover up. But look, look at how he's turning his head away. He doesn't want his eye in contact there. Doesn't want any of that head rubbing on the eye. And you'll see Parker now, forearm right. up there. It's still not in a bad place. It's not bleeding into the eye. Little right. digs to the right. body from far. Up, Joseph, Joseph, Joe Parker Joseph. just looking still a little bit arm weary. Stop, and again, stop, he's allowing stop, himself right, to get right. tied up by Junior Far, getting a little predictable with that double jab. Mm. Square up, square up. A little bit more laboured. Salini. Junior Far. Well, he's coming on now. Most of those taken on the gloves, but still, they will catch the judge's eye. Lead right hand there. Just yeah. a, he's changing the rhythm of that right hand. Sometimes it's longer. Sometimes he hooks it. Sometimes he throws it with a thumb up. Stop! Stop! Back up, Junior! Back up, Joseph. So he's trying to time yeah, that right one. hand himself. Hooks. Right! Right! Get off his head, son. I just like to see Parker just, he's just got to change it up somehow. Let's go. It's, they're both settled into a rhythm and Joe Parker doesn't want to accept it. He needs to vary, he needs to faint, he needs to change his angle somehow. I'm trying to start dictate the movement of the fight again. Parker's still pushing the pace of the fight. There's that right hand, he got a little closer. Once again though, the eye just capturing it. So it's not on the button, whether it's the shoulder roll, whether it's the eye and the... A lot of claret coming out now. 
Parker drifting in with that right hand. He's just looking to set it up. Range management from both these boys is starting to shift away as the fatigue sets in. Not even looking to set it up now. He's just throwing it. <laughs> you see the gamesmanship there. Joe looking at the referee, just putting that forearm up close to the eye. Parker getting frustrated. He's getting caught underneath that armpit with monotonous regularity. Big right hand there. He took it well. Yeah, he ate that up. It's fine. Great set of whiskers. We've known that throughout his career, goes to Parker. Well, how did you score that one, Monty? Starting to get a lot closer in there, and that was around where what Junior threw, he landed and he managed to tie up Parker and prevent him from getting his hands away. Yeah, that's where that frustration is for Parker. I mean, both men, here he goes, he's trying to pull back then. That is a shot, although it did deflect up onto his temple region. But just that eyesight, being able to stop that as it comes through each time. Let's have a listen to Doug Viney. He's really doing a job on Junior Far in the corner. Spread it right here because he's dropping his left hand. Here, this is right, don't smother him. Once you throw that right hand, you know you land it, don't hold him up. You throw that, keep it alive, you just throw it. Your opportunities, you're going to take them, yeah? Right. Yeah, right hand there, the frame's there. Right there. The hands make it be sharp, huh? Yeah. Simple instructions, the right hand is there, the frame is there. Well, starting to get contentious in the corners now. The urgency is starting to set in. This is the pen ultimate round of this our WBO Oriental Heavyweight title. Number three in the world, Joseph Parker versus number five in Junior Farr. And Junior Farr is putting up a turn up for the books. Many predicted it would be over early. Well, it has been competitive and there have been some very close rounds. Farr has won rounds clearly and so has Parker. And uh, these last two rounds could be critical. I can't remember the last time I've been in a Joseph Parker fight and the opponents getting the chant across the crowd. There's just a little chant there for Junior Farr. Oh, there's a big Tongan contingent here. His mum, his aunties, his wider family very close to us ringside. As there is with Joseph Parker as well. Junior, notice the way he's turning his... He turns his eye away. They're not gonna punch, it's broken up. This is a good ring craft there from from uh, Fart. Just making sure he doesn't get his eye cut any further by head contact. Well, he has to be because Joseph Park at every opportunity he gets. He you can see it right there. It's his smarts in, doesn't he? Yeah, you can, you can see both of this going on. Both boys. Oh, big right hand caught him right on the end of it. Keep him up, Joe. That one, I think Junior felt a little. Fart trying to punch her on the inside. Break. Both of them break. hitting and holding. Joseph, back up, back up. Break! Break, that's enough! Break! No, no, Joseph, just stop, stop. Fight. Frustration setting in. 59 seconds to go, second to last round. This is the main event of the evening. Now Parker getting his hands free. Looking for the right hand, but counted by the right uppercut from far. Break! Back up, Joseph. Junior, stay. Back up, Joseph. Stay, Junior. Go. 40 seconds to go. Heads come into contact briefly. Desperation from Joseph Parker. Break! Pretty Break! certain he Break! doesn't want it to go to the judges' cards. Clever game planning there from the City Kickboxing team. They're doing simple things, but doing it well. Another right hand that lands on the ear of Parker. Two very clever corners. Break! Ten seconds to go. Ten seconds. Hands are free. Hands are free. Keep him up, Joe. Keep him up. Good work from the referee calling the hands free. Well. Here we go, Israel Adesanya, UFC middleweight champion, 
and Junior Fars sparring partner and Jim mate just calling him to keep it calm keep your composure that cut maybe a centimeter wide still on the corner of the eye Yeah, visibly frustrated Joseph Parker then. Shake him the head on a few occasions. Mooks Parakai. Put enough Vaseline for a water slide up on that eye. Now, we know Joseph Parker has come out his one round in the 12th before when he needed to. He will have some urgency here. And let's see what sort of urgency Junior Far Is he going to settle with going the distance or is he going to chase the victory? Heads come together once again. Well, that's what the crowd want. They're on their feet, applauding for either of the men. Look, Joe's also got to take some of the blame for all the, grap uh, all the grappling as well on the clinchy because he's stepping in. Bah! Changing the angle, coming with the right hand and the right, uppercut. Right. Bars, look for those opportunities throughout. There's an uppercut. Parker stepped into it. Stop, 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 stop. Don't turn your back to you. Don't turn your back. Well, Parker would have been within his rights to throw that. Lansley, right hand. Right. Partially right. taken on the gloves by Junior Far. Two minutes right. still, plenty of time. One punch can change it. Just a noticeable slowing of the feet from Parker. He's following Junior Far around. Break! Break, guys, break, break. Let go. Junior, let go. Joseph, step back. Joseph, step back. Minute 30 to go in the 12th and final round. It's going to be interesting for the scorecards. We already saw a delay earlier on tonight. Oh. So it might be a typical one, too. A little bit of the old uh, pull the jersey over the back. League uppercuts there, Monty from Junior Far. Stop, 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 stop. Let's see if they can get separation. Both the corners are now standing up. They're screaming. They know this could be close. Parker is trying to get his hands free. Now this is going to be very interesting to see how the judges come to this. What they're going to judge. They're going to favour the aggression of Parker. Those close rounds are going to be critical. Parker again, I don't right. think he wants to be holding. He wants to try and get his hands free. 40 seconds to go. He needs to be punching. Right hand again there. Now he goes upstairs, downstairs, Parker. 30 seconds. The crowd is on his feet. Both corners are on their feet. Referee John Conway, sweat pouring all over his back. He's had a lot of work to do separating these two. Chopping right Break. hand there. Back up to you. Back up, Joseph. Back up, boys. Ten seconds. Here we go. Ten seconds. Both boys trying to free the hands. Both of them punching oh. away. Oh. And both claiming victory. A visibly frustrated Joseph Parker. Junior Far hands in the air. He has proven the naysayers wrong. This was a very, very close fight indeed in the end. Of course, we're watching it from a commentary point of view rather than from a judging point of view. But a lot of close rounds. Well, certainly respect gained by Junior Far. Frustration from Joseph Parker. There was a lot of holding, but a very, very good game plan from the Far camp. One more time, the that was an awesome fight, round of applause for these two heavyweight warriors. Well, 
we're awaiting the decision now the longer it goes on so it seems often the closer it is given Barry I suspect will feel like Joseph Parker was the aggressor and that should take him the victory he just said though it's a close fight and Joe with inhalation the look of a frustrated man looks Parakai he's got a smile in the corner mum she's a bit concerned there's two mothers in the audience this evening Junior Farr's mother and Joseph Parker's mum The value well, we've got the scores, and gentlemen. Of simplicity in this fight was something that came out. Tonight. Junior Farr. Israel, the last man in our Australia. Because we speak to our rank and claim our friends and call us over to go to the States and do their thing for city kickboxing. He's going to be a champ, champ. Israel Adesanya. The Nigeria Kiwi boy taking the Tongan flag up to Junior Far. And one thing for sure, tonight has been a showcase of the multi-ethnic state of New Zealand. How we all represent both our own countries and New Zealand as Kiwis. And the Lays been presented as is tradition in both Tonga and Samoa that's not a particularly happy corner right there a little bit of disappointment and frustration There's a lot more than that belt on the line. This is very much about who's going One into title time, contention. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, while we have the opportunity, show your appreciation for these two heavyweight fighters. After 12 rounds of professional championship heavyweight boxing action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores the belt, 109-119. Judge 2 scores the bout 113, 115. And Judge 3 scores the bout 111 to 117. For your winner by unanimous decision, fighting in the blue corner! Luis Oli! No! Oh! Uli! Uli Mayatawa! Chelsea! 109, 119. Someone needs a new prescription. The closer and more relevant.